faithful Hebrew children chose to go on through the fire. They wouldn't bend or bow the knee, they served a God much higher. A fourth one stood within their midst, delivered them whole and entire, cause they met God in the middle of the fire. Yes, you'll meet God in the middle of the fire. Cause that's where he does his work and purifies. So as soon as you are able, praise his name and lift him high. And you will meet God in the middle of your fire. You went through great affliction such as none had gone before. He lost all of his family. He was overcome with sores. But through it, God brought Job unto a place so holy and so high. And he met God in the middle of his fire. Yes, you'll meet God in the middle of your fire. That's where he does his work to purify. So as soon as you are able, praise his name and lift him high. Cause you will meet God in the middle of your fire. Peter failed, denied the Lord, he said he never would. He wept bitterly that night it would turn for good for he no longer trusted in his flesh he humbled down and cried and he met god in the middle of his fire yes you will meet god in the middle of your fire because that's where he does his work and purifies just as soon as you are able, praise his name and lift him high, cause you will meet God in the middle of your fire. But on the day of Pentecost, they tarried quite a while, for Jesus said he'd baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. And when God's power fell on them in tongues, the Spirit testified, and they met God in the middle of the fire. Oh yes, you'll meet God in the middle of the fire, cause that's where he does his work to purify. So just as soon as you are able, praise his name and lift him high, and you will meet God. If you're in your testing time of sickness, pain, or doubt, look unto the one above. He's the one who'll bring you out. And you'll come forth like precious gold. And trusting him is your desire. Cause you'll meet God in the middle of your fire. So as soon as you are able, praise his name and lift him high. You will meet God in the middle of your fire. So if you have been hated just because you love the truth, your family has forsaken and your friends have turned on you. Paid a price, so rejoice, I say, and lift your hands up to the sky, and you'll meet God in the middle of your fire. Oh, yes, you'll meet God in the middle of your fire, because that's where he does his work to purify.
if we fail the Lord and find it hard to shake the shame, we'll say hello to David and to Paul, they felt the same. Because in our humbling time, the Lord can prune us. Yes, that's his desire. middle of 